Welcome back to the Mobile Forensic Minute. This would be episode 102 or the number two. And uh, so just kind of getting on and following up with, uh, you know, a lot of the speaking events that I have and a lot of the training uh, that we put on. One of the questions really uh, has to do with, I mean, how do you start the investigation? And so, I mean, the easiest thing to do in, in starting a, a digital forensic or mobile forensic investigation is to first gather the information, say, from the investigator and from those who are requesting the work from you. Gathering search terms, other uh, additional information to give you a better idea of what you should be looking for. Once you have that information, creating, say, keyword lists, dictionaries, or uh, just kind of the terms that you need to be looking for and place them into your forensic tool. So then you can go and you can take those items, the search terms, globally search across the case, which can contain multiple devices or a single device, and then get the hits. Then you can start looking into, or say fine tuning, looking in for that needle in the haystack within the image. Now, you need to make sure that you set up the search function and parameters that it searched through the entire image. And by entire image, it's not just what's in the database or have been parsed out, but what is contained within the files, in the metadata, inside the, say, SQLite database, inside the XML file or a binary file, looking for that text fragment. Because we all know that all the software tools out there do not support every application. So if you can search within, say, a SQLite database that the tool didn't parse out and get a hit, you then can go in and search within that and expand that SQLite and actually uncover additional information that maybe you didn't know existed before. So that's just a tip. Start your investigation by searching the image. Search within all of those files so that you're not spending your time aimlessly going through every, every file looking for that nugget or just relying on what a software tool gives to you. Yep, so hopefully these two minutes have helped you out or start in your week for your investigation. So, hey, subscribe to us on YouTube. Look on Facebook for Mobile Forensic Book. On YouTube, Mobile Forensic Investigations. All right, see you next time. Thanks.